The Aero graphics system in Windows 7 looks fantastic. The desktop composition gives you a 3D transparent look with zooming and animation. But these Aero themes can often cause issues with Pro Tools, especially if you have a problematic video driver. And if you do have problems, then switching to a Windows 7 basic theme can often resolve these issues. Here's how you tell Pro Tools to turn Aero off when you're using it and turn it back on again when you're not. On your desktop, you'll find a shortcut to Pro Tools. Right click it and choose Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, locate the option to disable desktop composition. If it's turned off, make sure that it's turned on. Now while you're here in the properties, you want to take a moment to change the privilege level. You want to run Pro Tools as an administrator, so make sure that that option is turned on. Then hit Apply or OK. Now, when you launch Pro Tools, the Aero graphics system will be turned off automatically. If you get a notification about this change, you can simply click it, and in the dialog, just say, don't show me this again. Now with Pro Tools open, you just continue working with your session as normal. If we minimize Pro Tools just for a second, we can right click on the desktop and take a look at the visuals for your computer. You can see that the Windows 7 basic theme has been selected. If we go back to Pro Tools and exit the application, the Aero graphics system will be automatically turned back on. Nice. We can right click, choose Personalize, and you can see that the Windows 7 Aero theme is now active. If you don't have a shortcut to Pro Tools on your desktop, let me show you where you can find the application. Go to the Start menu and click on your computer. When it opens, double click on your local C drive and then double click Program Files, then into your DigiDesign folder, into the Pro Tools folder, and do the same thing we did before. Just right click on the application and get properties. When the properties open, go to the compatibility tab and make sure that disabled desktop composition is turned on. If yours is off, then turn it on now. And again, while you're here, make sure that you run Pro Tools as an administrator. Then click apply or OK, close the window, and that's it, you're done.